Hey, all you Brookview Tigers out there. Hope you guys are having a great week. Welcome back to the library. So I hope you enjoyed our story last week, Sophia Valdez, Future Prez by Andrea Beatty. It is our book of the month for October. So we will be doing activities through the month um, that have to do with Sophia Valdez, Future Prez. Uh, you guys had some fantastic ideas about building your own local parks. Um, we have some wonderful parks around our city, around Jacksonville. So if you ever get a chance, um, there is a website called jacksparks.com. And if you click on jacksparks.com, you will get a, a wonderful directory of all of the awesome parks that we have around our city. There are so many things that we can do um, at, at these parks. You can, there are parks that will, that have fishing. There are parks that uh, you could go play basketball or learn to play basketball. There are parks just for tennis. There are parks where you can learn how to swim. There are parks uh, where there's hiking trails. There are parks for um, running long distances. There are parks for fitness and soccer. Um, we've got some amazing parks around our city, so I hope you take advantage of finding some of those awesome parks. So I'm glad we're not like Sofia Valdez and have to clean up our areas and, and, and build our own parks because we have some pretty amazing parks right here in our own city. So if you get a chance on a weekend, pick a park and go visit. There's a lot of things to do around our city. Okay, so this week we're going to kind of stay with... Uh, the theme of Sophia Valdez Future Prez. Now, I picked this book for a couple of reasons. First of all, I love the author Andrea Beatty. She has some uh, really wonderful books. Um, Ada Twist Scientist, Ida Peck Architect, um, and this is her latest book in her series called Questionnaires. And I, I picked this book for October because it's her newest book, and also, it talks about being a future pres, president is what it means. So, um, we are, every four years, we have a big election in our country where we vote in a president. So, we're going to stay along that same theme, and we're going to talk a little bit about voting um, and how it works and um, a little bit of the history and a little bit of facts about voting how it works, who can vote, where to vote, that sort of thing. Um, and I also I have a favor to ask of just you guys. I have been offered a trial of this really awesome website called BookFlix. Um, they're letting you guys, just you guys, try it out. Nobody else in the school is going to get to try this out. So it is called BookFlix. I will put the link on our um, library webpage. So what you're going to do today is you're going to cl click on the link for book, book flicks. And two books are going to come up. One will be fiction, which is not real. It's a story. And the second one will be nonfiction. So it will be a real fact book. The first book is called Duck for President. And it's a story about a duck who wants to be president. Now, we know it's just a story because ducks don't, well, they don't vote and they're, they can't become president. So it is just a fiction story. The next book is called Voting. So it is a fact book about voting and it will give you some real information about what that means. Um, so this is how it works. When you click on the link that I have posted on our page, um, a web page will come up. You'll see two books. And down on the side is kind of a menu. So you're going to want to start at the top where it says watch the story. Click on that and you're going to watch the story of Duck for President. When you're finished watching the story, you're going to click read the book. And that book is voting. Now, you have an option, you can read the book yourself, or you, there is a button that says read to me. So if you click the button read to me, the book will read to read itself to you. And there will be an arrow that you press, you click on to have the pages turn, 
and then you click read to me and the book will be read to you out loud. So when you're finished listening to both of those stories, there is just underneath that, it will say puzzlers. So there are a few games that you can play that have to do with both of the stories, what you've learned. There is a word match um, where you, you'll be uh, matching the pictures and, the, and the, what the words mean with the actual words. There is a game called fact or fiction. Is it real or is it not? And then there is a game called which comes first. So you need to do these in order. Click watch the story. So you're gonna to listen to Duck for President by Doreen Cronin. And then you're going to read the book or have it read to you, a nonfiction book called Voting. And when you do that, then you can click down and play all the puzzles and the games that have to do with the two stories, the fiction book and the nonfiction book. So I'm excited because you guys are the only ones that are able to use this awesome book flicks um, website. So when you get finished with today's activity, if you want to go on the book flicks main page, you may do that. There are lots of different categories and lots of different books. So how it works is when you click on a category, two books will come up. One will be fiction, a story. And there will be another one next to it that is nonfiction, but they'll be about the same subject, like our books today, Duck for President and Voting. Both of the books are about voting, but one of them is a made up story and the other one is a book of facts. So each um, category you click on, there will be two books, one fiction and one nonfiction about the same subject. And then each of the two books also have those games that you can play and the puzzles that go along with the two stories. So after you do the activity, I also want you to let me know what you liked about the website. And um, it will be up to you whether we buy that website and have the, uh, can use it for the rest of the year um, from time to time in school and um, out of school. So um, for the whole school. So you guys are the only ones that, that get to choose and have a vote in this. So that's exciting. Um, I hope you enjoy our story today, Duck for President. And I hope you um, find some interesting facts about voting um, and um, enjoy our new website. So let me know what you think. And I will be seeing you guys next week and we can talk a little bit more about um, voting and we can talk a little bit more about our BookFlix website. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy our stories and our activities and I will see you guys again next week. Bye. I love your parks, by the way. Good job. See you later. Bye-bye.